The two deputy prime ministers, Uhuru Kenyatta and Musalia Mudavadi, arrived a few minutes before President Mwai Kibaki's motorcade. <laughs> prime Minister Raila Odinga was away on official duty, that is, in Turkey, where he was attending an international meeting that is deliberating on the elusive search for peace in Somalia. Vice President Kalonzo Musyoka was absent too. He has been in China and is expected back in the country on Sunday. And for a while, the focus was on the two deputy prime ministers as they exchanged pleasantries. This must have excited them further. With both the prime minister and vice president away, many wondered who would invite the president. Mudavadi was the man. In his short speech, he congratulated Kenya soldiers in Somalia. Sisi kama wa Kenya wote tujiunge ili tuepukane na vitendo vya ugaidi. He then hailed President Kibaki for his good leadership. Tunakupongeza kwa msingi ambao umewekea wa Kenya. He was invited in his capacity as Deputy Prime Minister, but when Musalia invited the President, this is what he said. Mwishima Rais, ningependa kuchukua fursa hii wa kibinafsi kukualika ili hutubia taifa na utupatie mawazo yako, mawitha yako. Some asked what did he mean on his own behalf, yet he had been invited as Deputy Prime Minister. His short speech was to become a subject of debate on social media with one tweeting that Mudavadi had been given a chance to address millions of Kenyans but blew it away by saying nothing. Another tweet was posted on Kenyatta's Twitter handle asking, how come it was Mudavadi to welcome the president and not you? You are both DPMs. Most tweets appeared harsh on Mudavadi, having failed to make political capital out of a golden moment, to shine in the absence of the PM and vice president. But political scientist Mutahi Nguni says that's typical of Mudavadi. He would have looked bad trying to be, quote, Thuggish, something he is not known for, yet he is known for keeping a distance, end quote. Lawyer Harun Dubi said Mudavadi is perceived to perpetuate impunity by clinging on to the DPM's position despite defecting from ODM that sponsored him and by President Kibaki accepting to be invited by him, it showed the president was still living in the past with the old constitution. Alex Chamwada, Citizen Weekend.